Good. Now, yesterday morning you had an OJT, an only chair. Yes. But you were talking about a beneficial owner. Mm -hmm. Like, almost all of you are talking about a beneficial owner. Okay. Beneficial owner, go solo zone solo. Chitegeza omuntu ngaya benefit ngaya funa muche intwe intwe. Okay. Like the, the final person who controls this organization, whether our client, any other mavega we. Someone can set up a company when it's a sham company, but then when they are the beneficial owner. I'll give you an example of uh, if I have a company A, but the shareholders and the directors are my children. Okay. We all know that these children don't have income, so they, they, they can't be in charge or in control of that company. So for, you, for me to be identified as a beneficial owner, I'm the natural person. Mm -hmm. Then the law also splits it into to two aspects. Well, well beneficial owner and the relating to company, okay. then beneficial owner and the mm -hmm. sense your client, yeah. or a customer, even to give you. Or when trust, because when you see a trust, the beneficiaries usually do not benefit until it has matured. The trustees hold in trust for the beneficial owner. Mm -hmm. Now it's trying to tell us that even a settler, even that trustee can actually be a beneficial owner. Just in Zira Kungeri, even to be our keep trust. So that, that's about it. It's basically, we are trying to look for who is the person behind this thing. And also, whatever in terms of multinational companies, to in tax planning, again, the Mauritius, and take your company okay. to benefit from the less tax rate that will apply there. So, and they set up their businesses. When you want to tax them, you may fail to know who to apply the tax to. So, for you to know the beneficial owner, you know, you know, in this definition, do they have a 10% shareholding? Get well, a then you know that actually this person is the beneficial owner of this company. Uganda Revenue Authority. Developing Uganda together.